Cedarburg Cultural Center would like to welcome Elizabeth Carr Whitmore as a November Artist in Residence. Thanks for being with us here uh, this month, Elizabeth. Thanks for having me. Sure. Can you tell us a little bit uh, about what media you work in? Um, well, I work in several media actually, as I have different facets to my art career. But what I've been focusing on this month at the at the Cedarburg Cultural Center is my work in illustration, which I complete with the process of paper collage. First, I hand paint these papers with acrylic paint. It's tissue paper to begin with. And after I have some fun playing around and painting the papers, I cut the papers into small pieces and make the collages that you see around me. Hmm. So what made you want to be an artist in the first place? Why do you do what you do? Um, I can't remember a time that I wasn't creating. I've always loved experimenting with art materials since I was a small child. And um, I always knew and understood that I would pursue the arts throughout my life. Hmm. So what's your favorite subject matter? Um, well, frequently when doing illustration, you don't get the choice of subject matter. Um, although different artists tend to be good at different subjects. And I think that some of that has to do with their interests. I tend to really like working with nature, um, so images of landscapes and animals, and I'm also really interested in traveling, so I like to capture um, unique places in, in my artwork. Hmm. What kind of career preparation did you have? Um, well, I have an undergraduate degree from the University of Wisconsin-Madison in fine arts, which really gave me a, a core understanding of, of the fine arts and the, some of the materials that I liked to use. Um, and then I went out on my own for a little while and uh, pursued art and ended up finding a niche with children. Children always really responded to my work, um, which led me to teaching children and pursuing my graduate degree in fine arts, focusing on children's book illustration. And beyond the just the educational components of my career preparation. I think that involvement in a lot of arts organizations, including the Cedarburg Cultural Center and the Cedarburg Artists Guild, have, um, have helped me connect with other artists and have the opportunity to really um, establish a community and advance myself within that community. And why do you enjoy being an artist in residence? Um, well, thankfully, Throughout um, my education and, and art experiences, I've had the opportunity to be an artist in residence both here and at some other organizations in Eastern Europe and, and other parts of the world. And I think it's just really a neat opportunity to connect with the public through your art. Um, it can be a great opportunity to travel and um, experience what the arts community is like in other parts of the world. Um, but in any case, no matter where you are, it's nice to engage with the public and sort of share your process with them. Um, particularly with this process, frequently people haven't seen it before. So sometimes it strikes a chord with them and sometimes they're just amazed in watching it because sometimes people think of art as mainly painting or drawing. And it's nice to be able to open people's eyes to the many mediums that, that exist within the art world. So what impact do you think the arts have on society? Um, well, I think that it's so important for all of us to express our creativity and express ourselves through art. I always say that I think everyone has an art media that they excel at. Um, unfortunately, some people don't find it in life because they stop that exploration. So I always try to encourage people to explore within the arts, to focus on the enjoyment of the process and sort of the catharsis of the process of whatever they're creating and not berate themselves too harshly on the fi final product. Um, because frequently artists will tell you as well, the process is a large part of it. And what are some of the other facets of your art career? Um, well, I think it's important to note that as an artist, um, maybe my favorite part of what I do is actually getting to express my creativity visually. But there are so many other facets of your career. Um, frequently, artists end up doing a lot of education. Um, and I think it's important to note that artists are often involved with arts organizations and a volunteerism basis because we're all trying to propagate the arts through the community. Um, and in addition, we're entrepreneurs. So there's a lot of business aspects to our careers as well. And how do you continue to challenge yourself as an artist? Um, I think your experimentation is key for me. So as well as this paper collage technique that I've sort of 
developed a visual language in. I also work in fiber, in glass, in painting, and I continue to explore other mediums as well. So I think with each new medium comes learning and the technique, but also challenging myself to discover how I want to um, create images within that medium. Mm. And what are your dreams and plans for the future as it relates to your career in the arts? Well, because of my love of travel, I always say that my ideal would be to travel the world and create art based on the experiences that I have worldwide. Um, so that's my overall hope, and I've been fortunate to be able to do some traveling as an artist in residence, as, and also in what feels like a former life when I was a travel agent. Um, so I guess that would be my main goal, but in reality, as long as I continue creating and engaging with people that are interested in my work, I'll be happy. Well, it's been wonderful having you here this month of November as the Artist in Residence and watching you create. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you.